morning. So, but hello. So, <clears throat> sorry, you can probably hear from my voice. I am sick. <clears throat> um, I feel, I'm feeling better. Yesterday I had a little bit of a fever and um, my throat was really hurting and I was just all around. <laughs> It wasn't it wasn't cute but I am back from New York City I had the best time in the whole world I went to go see two of my best friends Kim and V and they're like my ride or dies I love them to death and I went to go see them because they celebrated their birthdays together and we had like a birthday dinner and um, we went karaoke -ing. And we went to the club, you know, we did all the, we did everything. And it was so much fun. Um, I love New York City. I'm applying to a lot of jobs in New York City, actually. So this was like a nice test, kind of, to see. Because the last time I went to New York City, I was a junior in high school. So that was like six years ago. Oh my god, that was six years ago. Yeah, so that was the last time I was in New York City. So this was like a nice test-ish kind of, I guess you can call like a not kind, uh, kind of, um, to see if I, you know, to see if I liked New York City because it's been so long. And the last thing I remember from New York City was that I did like it a lot. I did love it, but I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't sure if that was still, you know, that was still valid. So I went to see how I felt as well. So it was like a nice trip to go see like it, to see if I could see myself, that's a lot of C's, to see if I could see myself living in New York City. <clears throat> and I can, I can, I can totally see myself living there. Um, I have a lot of friends from college in New York City and I love the lifestyle. It reminds me a lot of Paris, like central Paris. Um, except I would say New York City is a little bit busier, but the feel the overall feel of New York City is very similar to Paris like there's a lot to do people are very on the go It's a very young town. Oh my god. It's boiling. I'm making um, I'm making hard-boiled eggs <laughs> Oh god, okay two boiled eggs on the way We're gonna put a timer for six minutes. It's all good to go Good to go. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, th I feel like I should sit down because I keep moving too much. Hang on. Sit down and let's chat about New York City. Okay, I just hope this doesn't fall. Okay, I just can't move or breathe or touch anything. Essentially, yes, uh, New York City. I love New York City. It is so amazing, like honestly, Okay, I feel I feel like two things about New York City. I feel as though you either love New York City, like it's like for you, you can see yourself there, you're inspired, you just like are obsessed with it, or you don't like it. Like my mom, for example, she is very much of an introvert. I mean, I think you can be an introvert and still be, love New York City. That doesn't really that doesn't really correspond to each other necessarily. It's not mutually exclusive. But like, for example, my mom, she doesn't love New York City. Like she likes the peace and quiet. She, it's not like she likes like the countryside and cows and stuff, but she enjoys like a little bit more of a slower paced environment. And in, in terms of her living environment, she's a doctor, so she does work in a fast paced environment. But in terms of her living situation she really likes to be calm she likes a place where she can drive easily she hates traffic and all that stuff i mean no one really loves traffic but you know what i mean there's people who really hate it and there's people who don't mind it as much um but yeah so i can totally see myself living in new york city i love like i just felt so inspired and motivated while i was there yeah i'm not gonna lie i can totally see it being like a lot like after living there for a couple of months like i could see it feel like you, it can probably cause you to be burnt out a little bit if you're not used to it but um yeah i you know it, it was reassuring because i am applying to a lot of jobs in new york city so i felt like okay i could see myself here you know i think this is the right decision if i do end up in new york city i have a lot of friends in new york city 
I can totally see myself like adapting to the lifestyle in New York City. And like I said, it's I felt it to be very similar to Paris. I don't know. Let me know if you're from New York City or if you're from Paris or if you've been to both. Let me know if you agree with my sentiment that like they're kind of similar, but you know, the feel is similar. Like they have a similar feeling to each other. But yeah, so I survived Paris <laughs> and I really loved Paris. So I feel like I could I could totally see myself in New York City. So yeah, it was so nice. And actually the day that I landed in New York City, I went to a networking event. It was like a um, networking event for alumni from my university. And it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I saw so many people from college there and like when I stepped in I was like oh my god I like recognized that was disgusting I'm sorry no but it was so nice to catch up just with so many people and see like I don't know it's so nice it's like such a it's such a beautiful thing to see like people grow It's such a nice thing to see people that you kind of like, I don't know, grew up with in a sense because you're still growing up in college. Um, and see them like living their lives. Like it was so cool, like just to see what people are up to, to see um, all the cool jobs everyone has. So it was basically a mix of people looking for jobs and people um, hiring for jobs and then also people that were just there to network. Um, but it was so nice. I caught up with so many people so many of my friends and It was such a nice. I don't know. It was so nice So I went to that the day that I landed my friend and I we went and it was so fun um, And I got some like cool opportunities. So there were some people hiring so I was like, yeah, girl I'm gonna send my resume over. Okay, that was really cool. I highly recommend those types of events like you might feel like Ooh, they're ready. They're ready. They're ready, Eddie. Eddie. <clears throat> so I am back. <laughs> I took a break um, because I was really hungry, so I ate my eggs. <laughs> I think I was talking about how much I liked New York, how I could see myself there, and yeah. So basically, yeah. I can see myself in New York and I love New York City. I really want to live in New York City at some point in my life. I know, I feel like everybody says that. Everybody wants to live in New York City nowadays. I'm like really appalled that there's still room left in New York City because I feel like everyone keeps moving to New York City and they still somehow have room for people. I don't know how, but I mean. Yes, so essentially I am applying to jobs in New York City. I'm also applying to random other jobs. I found this one really cool job in Montreal, actually, Quebec. Um, not Quebec, what? That's not in Quebec. Montreal, Canada. <clears throat> and it looks amazing, it looks super beautiful, and uh, I actually have an aunt who lives in who lives in Montreal. And I don't know if you guys know, but I live in France for a couple of months. I lived in France for about eight months and I've been studying French for so long, so many years of my life. And um, yeah, I thought it would be so cool to use my French in my career. Um, I really don't know what the percentage is of people who speak French and speak English in Montreal. I know I know Quebec, is it a higher percentage? I could be wrong, um, I but I, th I think Quebec they use French on a more day-to-day -day basis and Montreal's more English. I don't know, I could be wrong, I, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I could totally see, also see myself living in Montreal. It looks so amazing, it looks beautiful. I've heard so many good things about Montreal. It's a really poppin' city, really fun. Um, and yeah, I have experience living and working abroad, so I don't think it would be too different and I don't know, I think it would be an amazing opportunity. So I basically, I'm just applying everywhere. I'm also applying to things here in Atlanta. So my advice to you, if you are like post-grad and you're looking for jobs, or if you're just like, you know, at any stage in your life and you're looking for jobs, I would suggest just apply to everything. I mean, you're, the world is your oyster. Just apply to everything that you think you would be interested in and even things you're not even sure about. There goes the godfather, the godfather, <laughs> the grandfather clock again. Just apply to everything, you never know. It's better to 
apply to things than to regret not having applied and that's what i've learned in this whole process so i will keep you guys updated but yeah this is just a very short and sweet vlog um i think this is going to be the intro sort of thing and then i'm going to play the footage from new york um i didn't get that much footage because i did want to spend some quality time with my friends and since they're not really into like youtube and they're not really vloggers or anything you know it's kind of weird when you stick cameras in people's faces um but yeah so i will play that footage now <laughs> What are you eating? Oh, uh, poke bowl. That's what I had. Wow, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. From Komi? From Komi? Very delicious. Highly recommend. It's on what street? 68th and 1st. 68th and 1st street. And what is this park called? Is, this a, is there a name for this place? Or is it just a random playground? slash update vlog i have so much content coming for you oh my god i'm gonna be doing more fashion videos because that is my that is my original love i do love me some good fashion content so my sister and i are going to be collaborating my sister's youtube channel if you want to check her out is at well you don't have at on youtube it's hey claudia and then an exclamation mark so check her out she does a lot of like creative uh she does a lot of doodling she's very into graphic design she's very creative so highly i would definitely check her out if you're into like bullet journaling if you're into drawing if you're into doodling she also does makeup tutorials she does everything she does everything under the sun and i hope that you enjoyed thank you for staying with me and watching this video and i hope that you have a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video i love you very much los quiero mucho 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 besos y abrazos y todo lo demás bueno los veo bye see you guys later bye bye Bye. Mm, okay.